everyone and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen sponsored by TSAT. I'm Heidi and I am with Chef Val from the OUTU School of Community Medicine and Julie is here today with us too from TSAT. So yes. thank you for joining me, both of you. And I know we are working on a saute, so I should let you keep going or okay. do you want to throw in a few mint things? So we're going to do a spinach edamame saute and I'm going to keep going on that. Okay. You all go ahead. Perfect. So what are different things that are important to think about? in regards to Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Shape Your Future is a program of TSET, and our role is to improve the health of Oklahomans. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that we do that through Shape Your Future is really bring resources to families. What are some easy things you can do? How can you add vegetables yeah. to your diet? How can you, you know, make it easy to bulk them up, mm -hmm. get your water? It's all, you know, to the effort of helping to prevent and reduce folks at an unhealthy weight. Everybody always, you know, you fall off the track, you get back on right. with health. Health is a journey right. and we want to be a resource in that. Well, and I like the fact that it gives you some creativity too. I know I'm guilty of you kind of just get your recipes mm -hmm. in your brain and you just are on repeat. Yes. And this alone can encourage you to just add some vegetables a little more than maybe you would think otherwise. And Chef Val always has great creative things. I leave here very inspired. I know, it's so colorful. So what do you have going on over there? Okay, so we have just some fresh spinach. Um, so this came from actually the OU Culinary Medicine Garden okay. that our project coordinator Courtney is in charge of and it's delicious spinach. Yeah, it's beautiful. And so it's sauteed in a little bit of olive, olive oil. You could use some sesame oil. We have sesame seeds in here. I'm adding some tahini, some soy sauce, um, some edamame, which are just the young um, soybeans that you can get in the frozen mm -hmm. section. And that's just going to get all stirred together and then maybe just a little bit of lemon. If we had just a tiny bit more time, we would let some of those um, just kind of settle in a little bit. And yeah. So, I mean, the spinach, you can't add it all at one time. So you add a little bit of spinach, saute that, add the next round of spinach. And so that's what we've done here. That's a very good point so that it's not all in at one time. And can you alter that recipe at all? Is there Sure. Any so especially the edamame, you could switch that out and use lima beans instead. I mean, really, you could use any kind of beans that you want. But then the greens themselves, I mean, you could use Swiss chard. You could use okay. kale. So really get creative with that. So just a lot more personal preference right? and what works for you. right? And again, this is just a great way of you're adding in a little more vegetable and things. It smells really good That also. you maybe would. I know, I just love all the green and the color. Looks Woo. amazing. I'm just excited to try. I'm just like, yeah. when do I yeah. get to take my bite? Oh, I smell that. <laughs> Please awesome. do. I taste know. it. Okay, we get to taste it. Oh, I was like, we can totally dive in together. I'm fine. Yeah. Mmm. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Good. There's some, I don't think I said garlic, but there is some garlic in there also. I was going to say, it kind of has like a garlic, little bit Asian mm -hmm. flavor. Yep, the soy sauce. The soy yeah. sauce. It is really good. So let me slide it on over in case you all want to try and take a peek. But you definitely want to try this. If you want to get more healthy tips or try this recipe, go ahead and go to KJRH.com.